Is it just us, or did the long-anticipated Bank of Canada rate cut in June feel kind of anticlimactic? There was no mad rush to buy houses, and home sales actually fell, according to Trev. Looks like buyers are still keeping their home purchase decisions on hold, which means the GTA market is still well supplied. Since high inventory is driving slight dips in the average selling price, our question is, are you sure you want to keep sitting on those sidelines? With a second 25 basis point cut hot off the press, the overnight rate is 4.5%, getting us closer to the cumulative rate cut sweet spot of 100 basis points. This is what Trev President Jennifer Pierce says is needed to boost home sales, and we agree. If this trend continues, we could be looking at interest rates down to a far more manageable and attractive 4% by late fall. Fingers crossed. Let's review. Year-over-year -year home sales in June declined by 16.4%, and new listings were up by 12.3%, helping to keep prices from rising. Although June's average selling price was down 1.6% over June of last year, there's a catch. Those prices were up compared to May of this year, which means if you sit on those sidelines much longer, those prices will continue to inch upwards each month. The longer you wait, the more you'll miss out on the huge negotiating power you hold right now. Once we hit that 100 basis point drop, sales will start to pick up, which will drive demand and help balance out inventory so prices will start to rise again. So here we go with the same old tune. We suggest you speak to your bank to find out more about a variable mortgage, get pre-approved and buy while prices are relatively low. You can leverage that negotiating power and benefit as those interest rates continue to drop. First time buyers, this is your chance to get into the market shed that rent and start investing monthly payments into something you actually own. If you can qualify for a mortgage, condo listings were up by more than 23% with a crazy good average condo apartment selling price in the GTA of 657,000 and 763,000 in the city. So get out there before the inventory is absorbed by buyers, goaded on by lower borrowing costs and ride the variable rates as they drop so you won't miss out. And sellers, we feel your hesitation and disappointment, especially if you happen to own a condo you bought when the market was hot. Even if you own a house, if your equity isn't great, maybe consider holding out a bit longer if you can. If your equity is good, you should probably list soonish. Remember, if sellers all get the same idea to list, they'll increase inventory, which increases the risk prices won't rise. Because it is all about supply and demand. If buyers rise and listings rise with them, it will help maintain that buyer leaning market and you don't want that. We know there's a lot of ifs here, so feel free to reach out to discuss your options.